Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we are looking at episode one of Non Baka. So Non Baka, I'm very surprised by this. I really am. I did not know what I was going to get to when I started this. And I knew a little bit about it being the kind of escape prison type thing and it's something kind of a jokey anime. But honestly, I was cracking up. I was dying watching this first episode. Let's talk about this because I really want to talk about this. So the main concept of it is that our characters are set in a place called Nanba Prison, which is a impenetrable, unescapable prison. And these four characters that you're about to meet, I'll, I'll actually introduce them all together as um, individual, actually, excuse me, to tell you how they all operate. But what's funny about this is that they already are in the process of escaping as the, start, the episode starts off. And Nanba Prison has some crazy traps. It has mazes. It has pitfalls. It has rolling boulders. It has walls that close in. And, you know, it has also this guy who you saw from before on the far right. He, I think his name is uh, Hat, Hatame, I believe, or something like that. Um, who is just a crazy, crazy security guard, essentially, for this place. Uh, honestly, he's probably the, the highest level, the second highest beside the warden. But he, honestly, it was so funny in this. All the characters are funny. So, we're introduced to number 15, Yugo, who he, over here, is apparently the, I want to say, brains. I want to say that. Uh, he's really good with hacking, it seems like. You know, he was able to un unlock a door in the very beginning and unlock the massive door at the very end. We have, over here, number 11, Uno, who seems like his kind of carefree attitude type guy. He's very funny. Um, honestly, oh, that's, by the way, the Hajime is the... Um, the actual guy, I, I knew it was close to his name. Hajime is the um, the, the security officer I was just talking about before. Uh, we also have number 69, Rock, who apparently is just going to be the brute of the characters. He is funny in his own right because of the fact that he loves to seem like he has the fights. And he's also the strength of the, the group in general. And then you have number 25, Nika, who I swore to God it was a girl originally, then realized it was a dude. Nico is essentially the kind of quirky slash cannot be affected by drugs apparently. Like... They try using sleeping gas on one on one point on him, and they try using tranquilizers, and it doesn't do anything to him. He just bounces back from it completely. Uh, there was a really cute, adorable scene, and I don't know if I happen to have the image for it. Um, I believe I should have the image up right here, probably, where dogs chased him down, and the dogs were Rottweilers, but they didn't really even get phased by Nico. They were actually really happy and, and all fluffy looking at the end. You know, it, it really looks like this show is gonna really go for a carefree attitude and use these four characters in a very comedic way. I mean, it doesn't look like anything's going to be really serious from the show, and I don't think anyone should expect anything serious. I mean, even the warden, we have this warden that shows up, who, I forgot her name off the top of my head. I believe it. I, I believe it's something, but I cannot remember off the top of my head. And yeah, of course it's something, you know, she does have a name. But her character was really funny. Um, it's just that she looks like she's going to be the one that's the strict one out of everyone, because even Hajime is not tough. He, he acts like he's tough, but... He's the one that's trying to just keep them in control because all we see from these four characters is they really are just messing around. They are known to be able to escape from every prison that they've ever been in. But in many ways, it doesn't seem like they even want to leave this prison because apparently it's so good for them and so much fun. So it's probably just going to be a show that's centered around comedy and just random shit happening. I mean, the last half hour of the show was all, or actually the last, like, I think 15 minutes of the show were all just comedic moments. You know, only the first, like, maybe five or ten minutes of the show in the beginning were meant to be... I think the introduction phase so i mean i think it's going to be just comedic stuff overall um we did get some background story on i think his name is uh yugo we get some background story apparently that those wrist uh, guards around his uh, wrist and his neck the collar those were put by some unknown person who put them on and they can't be removed by any technology apparently so there's some background story to that so i presume that over the course of this i think it's gonna be 13 episodes or maybe even more than that uh, we're probably just going to have a few episodes focused on each character individually, kind of get some of the background story, and then overall just kind of comedic try a way of try to escape Nanbu prison overall. Anyways, guys and girls, I really highly enjoyed this. I can't wait to episode two. I think anyone who watches this is going to highly enjoy it too. I will talk to you all later. Hopefully you like this review. If you do, please hit that subscribe button, share the video, like the video, you know the whole nine. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.